shoes first. See what we can find. Same. I don't think that's the same shoe. These actually go together. These ones. These, this one goes with that one over there. Might be able to clean those up. So I'm going to put them in my bag. I don't know why I start with shoes first because then it just weighs me down before I can even like look at the clothes and everything. What I do. Those are cute. So are these. They're from Target. But they're pretty. Sir Isaac Mizrahi. I see like a of the toe. Down here. This is so gross. These have insoles in, but I can't tell who they're made by, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up. I'm still not quite sure what the brand was in those. That's Eric's dad's name. <laughs> Funny. Of course, I thought maybe it was Ralph Lauren, but it's not. It's just somebody's name. to look at the clothes yet. So we're going to go over to these tables. Got a chip, ice cream cone. Already, but it's like, I can't read it if you They're want. interesting. Anyway, so I'm, 
I guess these are to light up. Oh, okay. I, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 hand painted figure. I actually purchased, I think I got like the same bowl at a yard sale once before. It looks so familiar. There's a horn of some sort. There's a little hen. He's got a chip out of the side of him now. That's made in Taiwan. Face is pretty. There's two of them. I should get this for my neighbor man. He's always smoking cigars. This mug, it's cute. It's made by someone called Rob Scotton. I liked it. I think I'll put that in my bag. But hey, guys, look. I found Brandon's mug today. Someone suggested I just keep buying all of the name mugs. <laughs> I should. It's funny. There's this guy over here. One Oh, to Gary. I didn't look on this side. I was on the other side, so I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss anything over here.
here. Look at the toys. This is a little calico critter. Someone had a fun wedding. They had frisbees made. That would be fun to do at a wedding, throw frisbees. Building Blasters Power Tower. That's old. It's hard to say if everything's in there. of DVDs and VHS tapes. Cassette tapes. The Ewok Adventure. I'll have to look maybe some of these up just to make sure. Pokemon movie. Pokemon the first movie. There's two of those. Dr. Fred. That was a good one. Ewok Adventure VHS. It's selling for about like seven, seven to nine dollars. Oh, there's some old horror VHS tapes down here. I don't know if these... Alright guys, so today I am going to be doing my rummage sale haul. I have a lot to talk about. It's really nice outside. Windows open, so it might be a little noisy. Uh, so I hope you guys are in for a slight rambling of a haul. Um, but um, if you guys have watched my last haul where I was doing like a, a trying a pumpkin pie soda and I mentioned the pumpkin pie milk, I got a bottle of it. Eric actually stopped after work yesterday and got me some pumpkin pie milk. So I'm going to be drinking this while I do um, my rummage sale haul. Now, this might be local um, because Rudders is a like local convenience type store um, in my area, but there may be other brands um, that have pumpkin pie flavored milk possibly. Um, so I just put lotion on my hand, so it's going to be hard for me to open it. But got a glass here so we're just gonna pour some out it's very very thick and creamy it's almost like drinking a a shake um you can see it's just a slightly ever so slightly darker color than you know like regular milk but it is so good mm. it tastes like drinking liquid pumpkin pie it is so sweet 
but has those like um, cinnamon spices of you know an actual pumpkin pie so super super good if you ever come across anything similar or if like you're in the area um kind of close to where i live and you have a rudders convenience store definitely check it out for that because it is so so good so as far as this rummage sale haul goes um i went to the rummage sale on friday the rummage sale starts on thursdays and thursday is the best day to go um it is ten dollars to fill a bag but obviously um you kind of get first dibs on things i tend to still find things even as late as saturday if i can't get to go until saturday so i had all plans of going on thursday but things did not go did not go as expected so if you saw my last yard sale um footage the very first sale we went to um the lady running it was just really rude is how i would just describe her um i don't know I, i'm assuming she was probably just having a bad day we all have bad days it's okay um but there was a pair of shoes i was slightly interested in but i was just kind of turned off and i was like Ugh, you know what um let's just leave you know so Eric didn't want to go to the rummage sale. He's not the biggest fan of this particular rummage sale. I don't know why, but I'm not, you know, I'm not the type of person that's going to like force someone to go someplace they don't want to go. So he said, I'm going to drop you off at the house and you can pick up your car and you can go to the rummage sale. He said, I'm going to go back to that rude lady's yard sale and see if those shoes were still there that I was interested in. So... I got out of the truck and he's like, do you have everything? I was like, yeah, I have everything. I'm good. So I go inside because I wanted to take off the, um, the footage on my camera. So, um, I would have the space to record while at the rummage sale and I go for my car keys and they're not there. I left my keys in Eric's truck. So he wasn't like real far away or anything like that. He actually came back and was like the lady had already packed up. So he wasn't able to get the shoes, um, but it was still early. So I definitely think she was having a bad day. But anyway, um, and then when he got home, I was just kind of like, well, there's things that I could do like around the house. Like it's not, not the biggest deal. Like I can wait to go to the rummage sale the next day. So I feel sometimes like, Things happen kind of for a reason as well because the next day when I went to the rummage sale, I actually met someone from YouTube. She is a subscriber of mine and I, when she said her name, I kind of like recognized her right away just from her like profile picture. It was so, so nice to meet her. I feel like we were talking for a very long time while we were um, shopping and everything like that. Um, so I just wanted to say it was so nice to meet you and um, we um, did take a picture and I will uh, post that in this video here so you guys can see. Um, so I just want to say like if anyone ever sees me while out and about definitely say hi. That was so awesome to meet her and I feel like the rummage sale, there was a lot of stuff, but sometimes I always feel like there's more stuff sometimes than other times. So I guess it just depends like what they get in donation wise. Um, and then we wanted to go to the thrift store afterwards, but they were closed. So we weren't able to do that, but we're definitely going to have to make a day of going thrifting together for sure. Especially since yard sale season is kind of coming to, to an end here. So I'm going to share with you what I got. Um, so it was $5 to fill the bag and you guys know I try to get my $5 worth. So here is my bag and we're just going to go through it. Let me just start getting some stuff out. Do, 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 do. Right. So the first thing I put in my bag were some shoes. So right away I weigh my bag down <laughs> and it's a pain to carry the rest of the time. Um, but these are a pair of men's wingtip 
dress shoes. These are really, really nice. They are by um, Johnson and Murphy. I actually have something in the footbed here. Uh, so when I found these, there was one pair and then it was another pair to a different shoe beside it. And then the, the right pair, again, was with the other pair to the other shoe that was beside that. So I don't know if maybe that's why they were still there. Like people realized that, hey, these shoes don't match. Not realizing that the actual pair was a couple pairs down. So I'm not sure. But anyway, these are really nice dress shoes. It's a great brand. So um there isn't really a whole lot to do with them, like sprucing them up, because they are just really snazzy. So I threw them in my bag. I took this. I just thought it was so cute. It's a little Oscar the Grouch um, backpack. It does have some adjustable straps here. I'll have to see just how long the straps go. Like, I don't know if this is something, like, an adult could wear, um, because... There, you could market this to um, ravers, candy kids, um, that type of thing. Um, so, but you can still carry it just by the loop as well or the straps. But it's so cute. It's plushy and it's an Oscar the Grouch head. And then the inside just looks like that. I don't know what year it's from. Um, I don't think it's vintage or anything, anything like that. Um... But I just thought it was really cute and I decided to uh, stick it in my bag. I'm taking another sip of my milk. Mm -hmm. I found one mug. I thought this was really cute. So it's got a dog on the front. Kind of dressed like a burglar. And his bag says swag. There's a cat in there and a heart and it says you stole my heart and it says that on both sides and then on the inside there is a little kind of heart um, design right there with um, a crown and this says on the bottom Rob Scotton Fine Bone China. And when I looked that I, when I looked that up on eBay, um, it did seem like some of his mugs are a little a little sought after. Like I'm not expecting to get like a lot by any means, but trying to fill my bag, I only paid five dollars for my bag, so um, I think I might get a little bit for that. I threw these in my bag. I have no idea what they are, but I just thought they were really pretty and interesting. So they are just on this like silky ribbon and they say mandarin right here with some fringe and it's a fortune cookie and it's made of um it's definitely like a glass feels like glass kind of like marbleized look and there were two of them so it's a little pair here you can hear that they definitely clink together so I'm not quite sure what these are exactly, just little decorative pieces or what. They remind me of something you'd find in like, I don't know, a Chinese restaurant or something. Um, but I just thought they were really pretty. So if anyone has any idea what they could be, I, I, I really don't even know what to look for to like look them up. I mean, they might have just been like a little um, like souvenir type type thing. I'm not sure, but stuck them in my bag just in case because I just thought they were really pretty. Um, I got, I only got two pairs of clothes. I did get this, and this looks older. It's a champion sweatshirt, size extra large, and it's a nice thick gray sweatshirt. I gotta wash it, um, but it says Bloomsburg University on the front. So I've never really tried to sell college-related apparel, but I figured I figured we'd try it out. It is a nice thick um, sweatshirt. It smells like mothballs. I definitely gotta wash it. And then I also feel like I'll put shout around the collar because I feel like the collar is just ever so slightly has a bit of discoloration. And then the other piece of clothing I threw in was just for myself. It's just a pair of gray um, lounge shorts and then they also have um, pockets on the front so those will come in handy next summer when I'm just laying around the house because ever since I um, 
since I no longer have like an actual job that I have to go to every day, like I can wear anything I want and I, I pretty much live in <laughs> leggings. <laughs> That's like my work wear now. I took one toy, I found a Monster High doll. It was really cool. I have a couple Monster High dolls. I bought a few when they first came out. Um, and then I kind of just stopped. I mean, I was slightly collecting them, but then I stopped. Um, I think some can go for a decent amount, but I feel like you need to have like a lot of them, unless of course they are still brand new in the box. Um, so I may just hang on to her and see if I can like collect a couple more loose ones and then lot them together. Unfortunately, she didn't have on any shoes or with any of her accessories or anything like that. She still does have like the plastic barbs on the back of her head though, which was kind of odd. With her dress, when you pull this down, her wings come up. And then when you pull it back up, they go down. So I thought that was really cute. Um, but like I said, I'll probably wait till I get a couple more before I list her. Because I don't think her by herself without like her accessories and things like that are really worth a whole lot. And then I got one VHS tape. There were a ton of VHS tapes. Um, we were actually talking a lot by the VHS tapes and just kind of going through them. There were a lot of like horror related ones. Um, but I feel like we were scanning some and looking some up, but there wasn't like, m like much having good hits on them. Um, but I was saying like, I feel like if you could buy, I mean, you could, um, anything that doesn't fit in a bag is like you pay a dollar for each thing. So I feel like, you know, depending on how many VHS tapes you could fit in your bag, like if you could feel like a whole tote worth, like I'm not sure how much that would cost, but if you could make like a big lot, you might be able to sell them um, a little better that way. So I did find this one and I forget what it said. I'm just scanning it again right now. Um, when I scanned it, um, this is the Wicker Man VHS. It says it's the extended version. So it's in a clamshell case. Um, when I scan it, it looks like someone has has this listed at $59 or best offer. Um, so I don't, let me look at um, completed. Yeah, when you go to solds, the clamshell one sold for $14. So that sounds, that sounds a little more realistic than $50. Um, but I just decided to throw it in there because even if I only get $14 for it, I paid $5 for my bag. And I do actually, I have been kind of picking up some old horror VHS tapes because I was going to like lock them up. So I already have a couple. So I may just put that with those and then lock them together. Just depending. I haven't decided yet. So that is everything for the haul though. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot. Um, I maybe would have found more on Thursday, but maybe not. I guess it just depends. Like, it's hard to say what you missed out on when, you know, if you weren't able to go um, the day that it starts. But I still think that I did all right for $5. I definitely feel like I'll <laughs> at least make my $5 back and hopefully more. I'm curious to see um, how I do with the college sweatshirt. And if, you know, that sells and sells well, then that's something else, like, new to me that, you know, I can look out for um, to potentially resell. Um, but before I completely get off of here, I... I just wanted to thank you guys and I just feel um I was I was cleaning up a little bit and I went to put like all of my cards in my um little filing folder that I keep um all the letters and cards and stuff that I get from everyone and this wasn't even just like from my father's passing and it's not even just from this channel but from my other channel as well and I'll show you guys. I do have it right here. Um, just so you can, so you can see, I need a new filing folder, but I have everything shoved in here. This is every letter and card that has come from a subscriber and I hang on to, I hang on to it all. Um, 
it's so heartwarming to me and if I'm having like a bad day and I start to think like you know I'll get down on myself and think about like why do I bother making YouTube videos and stuff like that like you know you just kind of I don't know me because I'm always hard on myself but like I just feel like I'm not I'm maybe not good enough and you know things like that and then you know you just you see things like that and you realize like hey Michelle this is the reason that you're doing this this is the reason you turn your camera on and sit here and talk to your subscribers because of them and I do think sometimes like um maybe other youtubers kind of forget kind of forget that it was their subscribers that made them popular that made them you know get to where they are essentially and um i just wanted to thank you guys for everything just being just being here for me just clicking on my video leaving a comment saying hi to me when you're out and about and i just appreciate everyone so so much and i just feel like i needed to reiterate my thank yous um just to everyone who you know watches my channels so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one you'll have to let me know um what you thought and I got to get a bigger filing folder for um, all of these cards and letters because this thing's about to bust through. It's insane. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.